everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Blair and today's video is just a very glowy skin get ready with me. I was kind of inspired to do this makeup look because of one product I recently got uh, and it's the infamous Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand in the shade Pink Gasm. I've got my hands on this and I've just been dying to try it so I just decided to kind of sit down and film a look kind of revolving around this product so that's what we're going to be doing today also if you notice I did cut my hair this is the first video that I filmed since I cut it um, and I must say I'm kind of loving it I'm still trying to figure out um, exactly how I like to style it and everything like that you know when you change your hair you kind of have to get used to it for a little bit but I am loving it so far I just love the cut and the I don't know something about the short hair right now I'm just really loving it so if you're interested in this makeup look and just getting ready with me please keep watching and let's go ahead and get into the video okay we're gonna go ahead and get started this is actually the first time I've done my makeup since I cut my hair so I feel like it always takes a while to kind of adjust after you change your hair does anyone else feel like that because with me I cut a lot of the length off so I don't know if you'll be able to tell but she probably cut like four inches off my hair which is a lot for me I have cut my hair before but uh, it's been quite a while I've had long hair for a good bit now so I'm actually loving it and I'm back to really my natural hair color I just have a little bit of lighter brown pieces and then I do have um, the lighter piece in the front which I really like uh, so yeah I'm just kind of getting used to everything but let me go ahead and clip my hair back if you see um, this burn right here I will explain um, we actually went to Carowinds yesterday which um, if you're not from the south you may not know what, what Carowinds is it's basically an amusement park it's like Bush Gardens Six Flags like that kind of thing and we went there yesterday and you guys I was so hot I mean I'm used to it being warm because I live in the south but it was on another level hot yesterday and apparently the only place on my body that burned was the back of my neck and I guess I don't know how it happened but if you see that that's what that's from so let's go ahead and get started I want to use this first the super goop glow screen um, I used this in one of my last videos where I used a bunch of products from one of my favorite makeup artists that she loves, Kelly Ann or Makeup XKA on Instagram. I will link it above in the cards for you if you haven't seen it, but she is always using this sunscreen and I've had it for quite a while. I haven't used it in a while. And I don't love it for like the winter time, but in the summer when you wear like really light dewy makeup, I do like it. Because as you can see, it is very, very glowy. Okay, I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury corrector. And uh, this one is in the shade medium. Okay, now I'm just going to lightly tap this in so you guys there have been so many new releases like I feel like the last two weeks every time I go on Instagram there are new things that have come out and I feel like in particular blushes are just like exploding does anyone else feel like that I guess it's the time of year I don't know but I just feel like every time I go on Instagram there is new 
all kinds of new things. The Makeup by Mario stuff uh, that just came out. I think they're blushes and bronzers. I haven't looked at, looked at it really closely, but I saw it on Instagram. Um, those look really nice. What else? Oh, so I did order something, um, and it actually should have been here by now. That's a whole other story, but I ordered it from Sephora, and I ordered this literally the day it came out, and when I tell you what it is, you won't be surprised if you watch my videos, but NARS has come out with the Radiant Creamy Corrector. Yes, the Radiant Creamy Corrector, and I did not know that was coming. I was just, I think I got a notification on my phone one day this past week, and it was like app exclusive, uh, see the new NARS product or something like that. So I clicked it, and that's what it was. It was the NARS Radiant Creamy Corrector, and I ordered it instantly, obviously. I feel like I, anyway, I was just so excited about it, and I have, I ordered it from Sephora. I have the flash shipping, so I have the two-day shipping. You can pay, I think it's $15 a year for free two-day shipping on all your purchases, and I've done it for the last few years because to me, that's totally worth it, and I always get my packages quickly. I never have an issue. Well, this past order with the corrector in it. I do not know what happened, but they shipped it using laser ship. Have you guys ever heard of laser ship? If you have, I'm guessing you probably don't know anything positive about them because if you Google laser ship, they get the worst reviews I have ever seen of anything. And I'm not kidding you. Every time I have ordered something online and they use laser ship, something happens. It does not get to me for whatever reason. And nine times out of 10, it's, uh, the reason is package was undeliverable. I don't know how that could be possible because we get packages here all the time from every other carrier and no one ever has an issue except laser ship. Anyway, so for whatever reason, when I ordered this corrector, they used laser ship, which they've never done before. And I ordered it, let's see what is, today is Sunday. I ordered it this past Tuesday. So it's been, and I ordered it first thing in the morning. So really it should have shipped Tuesday and been here by Thursday. So it's been Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's been almost a week and it's still not here. So yeah. Anyway, long story is I ordered that because I really wanted to try it and do a video on it because you guys know I love to try new correctors and I am going to do it, but it's not here yet and I don't know why. They told me, I called later ship, they told me it was supposed to come tomorrow, Monday, so we'll see if it shows up. I don't know, but I really wanted to film that today, but Anyway, long story short, if you can avoid buying things, um, just don't use laser ship. Don't do it. It's not worth it. <laughs> For foundation, I want to use this. This is Light Wonder from Charlotte Tilbury. Every time I go back to using this, I always think, why? how do I ever stop using this stuff? It is so nice and pretty if you like more of a luminous look to your skin. I love it. I use the shade number three. And I'm just using this. Uh, this is a Sephora collection number 56 brush. This uh, Light Wonder foundation, I think it's, I think they say it's a light coverage. I think it's a light medium coverage. Uh, like kind of not a light, but not a medium, kind of right in between. Um, it is so, so pretty though. If you like dewier products like me. And now I'm just gonna take a damp sponge and just lightly go over everything. 
for concealer, I want to use this one. This is actually the Cover FX Power Play Concealer in in Light 2. <laughs> I have two big windows in front of me, and I they face the front of our house, and I keep like peeking over because I'm a I keep thinking laser ships gonna show up with my corrector. They haven't yet. Okay, then I am just gonna blend with my Real Techniques brush. Okay, I just thought of something else um, that's new that just came out. Now this really tempted me. Like I had to, I had to stop myself from ordering this because as soon as I saw it, I liked it and I wanted to order it, but I did not. Uh, it's the new Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette, and you might have seen it. It's been it's been all over Instagram. Um, but oh my gosh, that is such a pretty eyeshadow palette. And what really intrigued me about it was it has two cream eyeshadows in the palette. Kind of like how he does his blush and uh, bronzers where there's a powder and a cream. He kind of did the same idea with his eyeshadow palette, which I love. I mean, it's just a it's a basic neutral palette uh, that I definitely don't need, especially with all of the palettes that I do have. Um, but it's really tempting me. I mean, I'm going to be honest. It's in my Sephora cart. I just haven't ordered it because I really, really don't need it. But I do. I'm very intrigued by it. Add a little bit more concealer. For bronzer, I really want to use the Hollywood Contour one from Charlotte Tilbury. I think I'm going to use this brush. I've never used this brush to uh, blend this product, but it's the contour brush from um, Real Techniques. So, um, one thing I did want to mention to you guys is I, uh, am going to film a video. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it or I don't know. I really want to film a video about all of my favorite YouTubers. So all the people that I personally love to watch on YouTube, I just think I love to watch other people talk about people that they watch so I thought it might be fun to do a video like that and I thought about doing that today but I really want to sit down and like make a list so I make sure I don't forget anything or anyone because I have so many people that I really like I thought that might be kind of a fun way for us to just share people that we like um, and you guys could share in the comments who you like to watch. And I feel like a lot of the people that I love, I started watching because of someone else. Because um, someone I watch recommended them. So I really want to film that video. So if that's something you want to see, let me know. So I think I definitely want to do that. Okay, for blush, I'm so excited about this. Actually, this is really the main reason I wanted to film this video today was this product. So I recently got my hands on the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Wand in Pink Gasm, the one that is literally sold out everywhere. I don't know how I got my hands on this, but one day uh, this was in stock on Charlotte Tilbury's website and I ordered it as quickly as I could because ever since, I'm sure you all have seen it, um, the Madison Beer Vogue video, you cannot get this. You can't get it anywhere. Anywhere that sells this, this shade is sold out. It's crazy. So when I found it, I was like, oh my gosh. Uh, and look at this color, you guys. Okay, so that's the color. And there is peach gasm as well, uh, but this is the pink Gasm. I think I might take it 
can get it on my sponge. Oh my gosh, so this is like a blush and a highlighter in one. Oh, wow, that's so pretty. Okay, let's do this side. I think I'm just gonna dot it on, on this side. Let me know if you've tried these from Charlotte Tilbury. I've had the um, Beauty Light Wand in the highlighter shade for quite a while, um, and I like that a lot. I still don't love the packaging on these, but the product is good, so I don't mind. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Ooh, that is pretty. Okay, I'm gonna take what is left and Put it on my nose. So pretty. I can see why this product is so popular. Ugh. Uh, I do want to take a little bit of bronzer and I think I'm going to use this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in the shade Medium. And I'm just going to go over where we put the contour wand and bring some down my neck. Okay. And now what I want to do is I'm going to use this. You guys, I'm obsessed with this now. The Patrick Ta Tinted Brow Wax. Oh my gosh. I love this stuff. I loved the clear version, but I love this tinted one even more. And I started using this because of Kellyanne on Instagram, talked about in um, my last video, but oh my gosh, this stuff is so, so good. So I'm just gonna brush it through. This is kind of the combo I've been doing lately. So I go in with the Tinted Brow Wax first and just kind of fluff them up. I usually kind of wait for that to dry for a second and I think I'm going to take a little bit of the powder in this Patrick Ta blush, like tiny, tiny bit. This is, um, she's that girl and it's a very similar tone to that Charlotte Tilbury pink gasm and I'm just going to kind of tap it on top. It's so funny. now. I'm obsessed with blush and I'm telling you guys there is a time when I was younger um, for a long time actually I would not I did not want to wear blush because I already have redness in my cheeks that's just the way my skin is it's just how how it is and I used to never want to put any type of color on my cheeks because I thought it was just gonna make the redness look worse but now I can't get enough. I'm putting on cream blush and then I'm putting on powder blush. I'm putting on my nose like I'm obsessed. <laughs> anyway so once I let the uh, brow wax dry a little bit I'm going to go in with this. This is the NYX brow pencil. This is the shade ash brown. Yeah and basically after I kind of let them dry down after the wax I just go in and fill in very very lightly where I have larger gaps in my brows so like on this brow up at the top where the arch is I have this empty spot so I just kind of go in and fill them in and I mean I don't do much I love brushing them up with that wax because then I can actually see if I'm gonna brush my brows up anyway if I do it first with the wax then I can actually see where I need to fill in instead of just filling in all over if that makes sense so then um, once I do that I take my spoolie again this is a little reusable or not reusable, a little disposable um, spoolie. 
This one has actually been used before, so I don't recommend doing that. I would recommend using a clean one, but this is all I have sitting here. Um, but I just, I don't know. Something about the combo of this, I just really like. So I'll do the same thing on this side, and I kind of have the same bald spot on this side. kind of up here at the top of my arch. But this brow is actually a little, it's a little bit thinner overall than my other brow. Next, I wanna put a little bit of powder on my face since we have so much glow happening. I feel like we need to add just a little bit of powder. So I'm gonna go under my eyes and make sure nothing is creasing. And then the powder I have sitting here is the Bite Beauty one. So I'm going to take just a little bit of powder right in the center of my forehead, kind of down the sides of my nose. Oh my gosh, you guys. I should have mentioned this in my last video, but something I learned from Kelly Ann on Instagram when she is lightly setting her face with powder. She makes this face and she sets like if you have any little lines around your mouth and I don't know why but every time I do my makeup now I think about that when I use powder. That's so funny to me. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the Pat McGrath under eye setting powder and just apply a tiny tiny bit of this under my eyes. I don't love that bite powder under my eyes for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's because under my eyes, I want something extremely thin for under the eyes. I just don't like, since I already apply a corrector and then concealer, I want the powder to be super, super thin, just not noticeable, as, as unnoticeable as possible. And this Pat McGrath one is so finely milled. For the eyes, I'm actually gonna take my Real Techniques brush that I used for my concealer and I'm just gonna go over my eyelids. I found that sometimes when I want just, when I'm not gonna do much on my eyes, I kinda like doing this because all you're really doing is just putting a very, very, very small amount of your concealer on your eyelids. Oh, actually, I just had an idea. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna put this blush on my eyes. I have never, obviously I've never used this product, so I don't know how this is gonna work. But basically, I'm just gonna take a little on the back of my hand. I'm gonna get, this is just a BK Beauty eyeshadow brush. This is the 205 and I am just going to like I'm barely touching my eye right now. Touch kind of the outer corner and up into the crease a little bit with this blush and I'm, I mean I don't have much product on my brush at all and I'm just going to apply just the tiniest bit of it. And then I'm just going to take my finger and kind of press it in. So then we're going to use the bronzer we used earlier, the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush. And we are going to take a little bit of this in the crease of my eye and just kind of go in the crease. I didn't know this is where I was going with this makeup, but I guess we're doing a kind of monochromatic makeup look today. I'm going to take a little tiny bit of this. This is one of the Natasha Denona eye toppers. This one is in the shade Nude, and you can see it, all, it just kind of gives your eyelid kind of like a wet, shimmery look. So I'm just applying this right down the center of the eyelid. And that's it, that's all we're gonna do. But see how it just makes your eyelids look kind of wet? 
Then, of course, I really want to do a little baby wing. So I'm going to quick, or not quick, I was about to say quickly do that. Fortunately, this is not something I can do quickly. I wish it was. So I'm just lining kind of from the middle to the outer corner. So now that I've kind of got a little on my eye, I'm just taking my BK Beauty 208 brush and I'm getting a little tiny bit more of the pencil and I'm gonna kind of clean it up with this brush because I'm not the best at doing the wing with the pencil itself, but I feel like if you go back in with a brush like this, you can kind of fix it if you mess it up. I think that's good enough. I'm not gonna push it. I'm just gonna stop messing with them because the more I try to do to them, the more I don't like how it looks. For mascara, I'm gonna use this. I'm obsessed with this one, the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. I think I've said that in a few videos now, but I really, really, really like this mascara. I swear, I don't know what it is, but this mascara does not get clumpy, or at least mine hasn't yet. I don't know what the deal is, but it is very, very separating. I don't know, but I love it. Last, we'll do the lips, and I really just want to use Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk today. I actually haven't used the original Pillow Talk in a little while. I feel like the pinky color definitely goes with this makeup. Okay, and then I want to use a little bit of this. This is the Dior Afterglow lip balm in the shade Rosewood. And last but not least, I'm going to put this. This is one of the Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Lip Bath um, lip glosses, and this is the shade Pillow Talk. If you like peppermint smelling things in lip products, you would love this from Charlotte Tilbury because it is so, definitely gives your lips a little bit of a plumpness, but not a ton, I would say, but it smells so good. It smells so, so good. It's so pepperminty. I love it. And last but not least, I will take a little bit of my Hourglass Setting Spray. And that will be it for this video. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't typically do many monochromatic kind of looks like this where I use the same things on my cheeks and on my eyes, but I'm kind of liking it, so maybe I'll do more of these in the future. Please, I never say this, but if you like one of my videos or like my channel, please share it with your friends and your family. I'm very, very close to 3,000 subscribers when I'm filming this, so I'm really trying to get there. So please share me, my videos, this channel with anyone that you think might enjoy my videos. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already and go follow me on Instagram at simply.blair. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Remember, simply be you. Bye.